Hello everyone. Welcome back. So in this video we are going to learn about cubes of sorry cubes of numbers from 1 to 100. So how to find the cubes of the numbers from 1 to 100 in an easiest possible way. Okay. So if you are first time to my channel please consider subscribing. So I am dividing these cubes of the numbers or finding the cubes of the numbers into three cases. So we will learn this number uh, finding the cubes of the numbers in three cases. So in the case one, so in this case one, we will learn to find the cubes of the numbers, the numbers starting with one. So we'll find the cubes of the numbers for the numbers which uh, who which starts with one. That is from eleven to nineteen. So these are the numbers which starts from eleven to nineteen within hundred. So in the case two, we'll see how to find the cubes of the numbers for the numbers ending with one. Ending with one. That is eleven, twenty one, thirty one. 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91. Okay, so for these numbers, how to find the square, uh, sorry, cube. And similarly in the case 3, this is generalized case, generalized method or formula method. Okay. So we'll use some generalized method or formula method and using this we can find the value of cube of a number right from 1 to 100. So this is called as generalized method. So this using this method you can find the values of this case, the cubes of the numbers of this case and this case also and so it is called as generalized method and or formula method. Okay. So these two are the special cases that is numbers starting with 1 and numbers ending with 1. Okay, now we'll see one by one each and every case. So next we'll see case one. So what is case one? The numbers starting with one. Okay, so the numbers starting with one, that is the numbers from 11 to 19. So if you want to find the cube of these numbers, so the procedure is like this. So the tens digit is 1 and you will get x here so we have to find 1x whole cube that is uh, in the place of x you have right from 1 to 9 okay suppose if you want to find 14 whole cube then x is equal to 4 okay so 1x whole cube the procedure here we follow is so we will write this 1 here this 1 is written here and next we will write uh, x next is x square and next is x cube okay so 1 x x square x cube will write so we'll have an into mark over first and last points and we will take the double of this number that is 2 into x square and 2 into x and we will add these two so x cube nothing is there here so we'll get x cube so x square and 2x square will be added so we'll get 3x square and x plus 2x will be added so it will be 3x and this is 1 okay so same, same as we have followed for uh, same uh, we have to take the unit digit of x cube unit digit of x cube into final answer you have to take the unit digit of x cube into final answer and the remaining we will send here as propagated carry so we will get the resultant here and the unit digit is taken for answer and the remaining will be propagated as carry to add here so the resultant in the resultant we will take unit digit and the remaining is propagated as carry here so this will be the final value okay so this final value which is uh, which is get uh, which is uh, obtained here 
along with the unit digits so will be the final answer okay so we'll see one example suppose we want to find the 14 cube then you'll understand the value so then you understand this concept very clearly it's easy actually so 1 4 so x is 4 and 4 uh, x square is 16 and x cube is 64 so we have to keep into here and multiply it with 2 so we'll get 32 multiply it with 2 you'll get 8 here so 64 16 plus 32 these two must be added 16 plus 32 is 48 4 plus 8 is 12 and this is 1 so unit digit of this is taken for the final answer this 6 is propagated as carry to the next stage so we'll get 54 here the unit digit here is taken for the final answer and remaining 5 is propagated here so the resultant is 7 so the unit digit is taken for the answer so this is here and 1 is propagated as carry so we'll get 2 and 2 will be also included in the answer so the cube of 14 is 2744 4. okay so 14 cube is equal to 2774 7, 4. isn't it easy okay so is in this way we can find okay suppose if you want to find 17 cube if you want to find the value of 17 cube then 1 x value is 7 x square is 49 x cube is 343 okay so keep into at first and last ends double this so 49 um, doubling is 98 7 multiplied by 2 will get 14 so this will be 343 and 49 plus 98 is around one so it is 147 so it is 21 and this is 1 so this 3 will take it as final answer and 34 is propagated here so 34 uh, 7 4 11 4 3 is uh, 7 8 so you'll get 181 so this one is taken for answer and 18 is propagated here so 21 plus 18 is 39 9 is taken for answer and 3 will be propagated here so plus 3 will gives you 4 so 4 9 1 3 so 17 cube is 4 9 1 3 so using the simple trick we can easily solve the numbers starting with 1 that is from 11 to 19 okay so next we will see case 2 so what is case 2 numbers ending with 1 so numbers so cube of the numbers so we have to find the cube of the numbers ending with 1 that is uh, like say uh, 41 whole cube or 61 whole cube 81 whole cube so you can find all the values here okay so the general procedure is the number is like this x1 whole cube so just as the previous case reverse order we have to take that is x cube here x square x1 and uh, we have to take so a cross mark here, a cross mark here, um, double this number and double also x. So 1, this becomes 3x, this becomes 3x square, this becomes x cube and this 1 will be taken for final answer and the unit digits, unit digit of 3x will be taken for the final answer remaining is propagated as carry here so it is added and unit digit here is taken for the answer and the remaining is propagated as carry here so this will give you the final value so final value along with unit digits which are taken here along with this one will constitute the final answer okay so we'll take an example then you'll understand very clearly so 41 whole cube if you want to find the first one so this one so 41 whole cube if you want to find so 4 cube is 64 and 4 square is 16 and uh, 4 next is 1 so a cross mark over here so 16 double is 32 and 4 double is 8 
so 1 here 12 here 48 and 64 so this will be 1 will be taken for final answer so it will be 1 and the unit digit here is 2 that will be taken for final answer and next remaining one is propagated as carry so we'll add one so we'll get 49 here and the 9 is taken for the final answer this 4 will be added here so 64 plus 4 will gives you 68 so 68921 will be the cube of 41 okay similarly if you want to find for 61 whole cube so 61 whole cube uh, what is uh, 6 cube 6 cube is 216 and 6 square is 36 6 1 so and cross mark over first and last so 6 is if you double it you will get 12 36 doubled will get 72 so 1 here and 18 here 72 plus 36 is 108 here and 216 here okay so this one is taken for the final answer and this 8 will be taken for the final answer this one is propagated as carry here plus 1 will becomes 109 this 9 is taken for the final answer so 10 here added with 10 so we'll get 226 so 226 981 is 61 whole cube so 61 whole cube is equal to 226 981 okay so in this way we can find the value of any cube which ends with 1 with this very simple trick okay so next we'll see case 3 so case 3 is finding cube of any number from 1 to 100 so this is generalized method okay so this is somewhat generalized method and you can find the cubes of first two cases also by using this case okay so here what we consider is we have to find the value of the cube of a number let that number be xy xy whole cube you want to find so we'll take x cube x square y x y square and y cube so we'll take this and we will cross here these two and we'll take double of these 2 into x square y 2 into x y square we'll take the double of this and we'll add those so here we'll get 3 x y square this is 3 x square y and this is still x cube so same as this previous case we will take the unit digits here unit digits of y cube into final answer the remaining is propagated as carry here so we will add this carry and this number and uh, unit digit of this number is taken into final answer ok and the remaining is propagated as carry here so the unit digit from this is also considered for the final answer and the remaining is propagated here so you will get the final result here ok so this is the procedure which we follow suppose if you want to find uh, um, 73 whole cube ok 73 whole cube if you want to find so then what is uh, 7 cube 7 cube is 343 x square by x square is 49 into 3 so 49 into 3 is 147 Right, 327, 3427, and 2, 4, 147. So next is xy square. So x is 7, y square is 9, 7 9 is 63. And next is y cube. y cube is 3 cube, which is equal to 27. So you can put uh, into marks here. So double of 63 is 126, and double of 147 is 294. So if you add, you will get 27 here and here 9 8 1 189 here and 7 4 11 and 9 1 14 and 4 41 here and this is 343 so the unit digit here is considered for the final answer 7 and 2 is propagated as carry and added here so we'll get 191 so this one is taken as 
the final answer so this one is taken in the final answer and this 19 remaining 19 is added here so we'll get 460 so 0 will be taken for the final answer 46 will be propagated as carry to the next stage so 639448 this is 389 so you'll get 389017 is the final answer and it is the cube of 73 okay isn't it easy so using this method using this generalized method you can find the cube of a method in very few seconds okay so if you are very good at cubes then you can find uh, cubes up to 30 then you can find very easily the cubes of remaining digits very easily right from 1 to 100 so generally in all the competitive exams we'll f uh, get the cubes right from 1 to 100 okay so this is the simple trick suppose uh, in some exams we'll get the questions typical questions like this 73 whole cube plus 7.3 cube plus 0 0.73 whole cube okay so such type of questions we will see regularly in IBPS and RRB exams so we can use this method to find these values so we know that how to find this value of 73 cube so 73 cube is 389017 point so since there are two numbers after decimal in this uh, number and uh, cube we are going to find so we have to keep six zeros here so six zeros we have to keep similarly 7.3 whole cube 7.3 whole cube is e equal to so 389017 so of since there is one decimal there is one number after decimal point and since it is cube so 1 into 3 is 3 so we have to keep a decimal point after three numbers right from right so from right if you take three decimal three numbers then we have to keep the decimal point here so this is equal to 7.3 whole cube is equal to 389.017 so we can keep zeros here okay similarly 0 0.73 whole cube 0 0.73 whole cube 389017 so there are two numbers after decimal point and cube we are going to find so 2 into 3 so number of numbers here so 2 and uh, cube we are going to find so 2 into 3 is 6 so after 6 numbers from right you have to keep the decimal point so 6 numbers after right is this so we have to keep the decimal number decimal point here so this 0 0.73 whole cube is now 0 0.389017 so 0 0.73 whole cube is 0 0.389017 so if you add we will get 7 here 1 0 and 7 9 16 so 1 8 9 10 so this is 4.97 is 16 similarly 1 8 uh, 10 so 4 here 9 and 389 so 389406 the answer will be so answer for this question will be 389406.40617 so in exams they may give uh, by truncating the numbers after decimal point to 3 so 389406.406 is the answer here if you truncate the value so if you want exact value this will be the exact value and if you truncate it to 3 numbers after decimal point so this is the value okay so this is how we can solve the values or cube of the numbers if the questions are asked in this manner okay so the general procedure is this you can find the cube of any number using this method hope you like this video so if you like the video please share with your friends subscribe to my channel and comment below the value of 84 whole cube and 79 whole cube so these two values you find and comment below in the comment box okay thank you